Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the next instalment for the Throwing Shade series which is an eyeshadow exploration series that was created by Jessica. Jessica is Beauty and Baseball here on YouTube and I'll link her channel in the description box down below and this is a collab so I'll link everyone else in there as well. Last time I picked five eyeshadows from a, as I normally do from the spreadsheet and I picked a space themed item my oldest eyeshadow, a blue, a water themed eyeshadow, a gold eyeshadow and a shadow with an X in it and I do want to, before we get started, say that I messed up and I used the wrong gold eyeshadow I actually picked the gold eyeshadow that was in here, which is bananas which is this shade here, but what happened was I used a different gold eyeshadow because I thought that was the gold eyeshadow that I picked. So I'll insert the look that I did here as I normally do, but it's not with that eyeshadow. So I'm going to roll this over into the next one so that I do get some use out of this and I'm able to try it. So this time around I'll pick five additional ones, so I'll have six in total. So the first one that I drew was the space themed eyeshadow and for that I went into the Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadow palette and I picked this shade here which is in Galaxy it's just a blue glitter I guess you could call it it's like a navy underneath and then blue glitter over the top it's really really pretty and I used that to top a couple of other eyeshadows as well and the next one was the blue eyeshadow which I also did with this look and for that I picked from the Sleek Original 594 palette and I picked this shade here and that's just a navy blue so I wore these two together, along with an additional third blue eyeshadow, which isn't a part of this. So I wore this one in the outer V, and then a lighter blue, and then this on top of the lighter blue to give the blue glitter. Um, as normal, I'll link all the looks so that you can see them while I'm talking about them. But I really enjoyed that look, really, really enjoyed that look. I'm really, really in love with colour on my eyes right now. It's just amazing. So the next one is my oldest eyeshadow and for that I picked this. This was the collection, it was like a smoky collection. It had all like greys and blacks and this white in it. This I have in my tear duct uh, as a highlight for my inner eye. I can't really use it for much else than that because I tend not to do smoky looks during the week so I kind of... that's all the use that I'll get from it is like using it as a inner corner highlight so uh, the next one was the gold eyeshadow which we're rolling over and the last one then is the any shadow with an X in it and for that I picked this this is the NYX hot single in pixie fee it just looks like that it has got a little bit of a dip in it because I needed to really dig in there with my brush this eyeshadow is a little bit difficult to work with I'd never use this as an eyeshadow anymore because it's too light to do anything with like when I swatch it, it matches my skin tone see so it's too light to do anything with in terms of on the lid so I tried using it as a in a corner highlight because there's some shimmer in it and that might work that didn't work like it just didn't highlight so I've now adopted this to use this as a face highlight and I have it on today and I don't know how I feel about it as a face highlight either so I may well end up decluttering this I need to think about it a little bit more I need to think about it I'll try it again as a face highlight and then if I still don't like it I'll probably re I'll probably will declutter it in the next go round of when I declutter so um, so that's the five eyeshadows so I'm going to bring up the spreadsheet and pick five more Okay, so I have the spreadsheet up. If I look over here, it's because that's where the spreadsheet is on my computer. And I have random.org on my phone ready to go. So I'm just going to start picking the eyeshadows. Number 71. Man on the Moon. Moon colour or theme. Number 3. Is Lucy Goosey a loose shadow. 174. James and the Giant Peach is a peach shadow. 198 Finding Nemo Ocean or Sea themed shadow and the last one then 87 which is any green shade 
Okay, so I'm going to go and pick the eyeshadows and then I will come back and we'll go through them and do some swatches. Okay, so I have my eyeshadows here. So the first one that I pulled was a moon colour or theme and I'm going back in the Moon Dust eyeshadow palette for this one and I'm going to pick a different colour that I picked last time. And I think I'm going to go with this one here, which is Lithium. And it's just a goldy, bronzy colour. That's beautiful. That's what that one looks like. And the next one I picked was a loose shadow. And for that, I picked this. This is Nude Beam by Too Faced. And this is just a champagne glitter, I guess you could. Okay, you can't see it like that. Okay, that's what that one looks like. The swatch is really, really bad because, as I said, it's kind of more more of a glitter than a um, pigment. So it's really hard to swatch and pff, it goes everywhere. The next one was a peach shade and for that I'm going into the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And I'm going to try this shade here, which is Candied Peach, because I've not tried this one out of this eyeshadow palette yet. Normally I tend to go for the other peaches. And that's just a really pretty matte peach colour. It's weird, it doesn't look... Oh, okay, I guess it does look matte in the pan. And the next one then is ocean or sea related. And for that I'm going into the MUA eyeshadow palette in Hall of Fame. And I'm going to pick this shade here, and it is in the shade Hydra. And it's just a kind of greyed purpley blue. And that's what that one looks like. And the last one then was any green shade. And for that, I'm going into the Sleek Original 594 palette. And I'm going with this top one here. And that is Banksy. And it's just a golden olive green colour. And that's what that one looks like. So I'm excited for this go round because there's quite a lot of different colours here, so I'm going to have some different coloured looks this month. So that's quite exciting to me because normally I tend to wear neutrals, even though I enjoy having colour on my lids, I do tend to go more neutral, um, especially for work. But what this project, I guess it's kind of a project, it's not a pan, but it's a project, it allows me to play around with the eyeshadows that I wouldn't normally get to play around with. So I really enjoy that. And I'm going to put the Too Faced one in as well, as a reminder. I'm going to put those all together. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.